The Legend of Zelda is one of the most iconic video game licenses. To celebrate 35 years of the franchise, here's a selection of 89 surprising facts about The Legend of Zelda. The initial theme for The Legend of Zelda was a remake from the Bolero from Maurice Ravel. As the classic piece was still under copyright, composer Koji Kondo had one night to create a new theme for The Legend of Zelda. His overnight composition is now one of the most popular themes in gaming history. Shigeru Miyamoto, the creator of The Legend of Zelda, is a fan of Disney. When he created Link, he took his inspiration from Peter Pan. Both heroes have similar green outfits, pointy ears, and a magical fairy by their side. Opona, Link's horse, takes her name from Celtic mythology. Opona is the protector of horses in the Gallo-Roman religion and protects our hero in The Legend of Zelda. Before getting its mythological name, Opona was supposed to be called Owl. Princess Zelda's name was inspired by Zelda Fitzgerald, an American author. Her spouse was author F. Scott Fitzgerald, known for The Great Gatsby and The Curious Case of Benjamin Button. Robin Williams named his daughter after Princess Zelda. The actor was a longtime fan of Nintendo. Well done, Zelda. But you have a lot to learn before you become a master. When the time came to name their first daughter, Robin Williams and his wife decided to call her Zelda, as a tribute to the Legend of Zelda. Link and Mario were both created by the same person, Shigeru Miyamoto. Link is part of the Mario Brothers family and appears in Super Smash Brothers and Mario Kart. Shigeru Miyamoto is a fan of FPS games. He initially wanted to develop Ocarina of Time with a first-person view, but it was not possible as we needed to see Link through the different timelines. Some players realized that the music of Majora's Mask was not only great as it was, but also could be played backwards while remaining harmonious. We will let you judge for yourself. In the first version of Ocarina of Time, the theme of the Fire Temple included a call to prayer from a Mosin. To avoid controversy, it was later removed from the other versions of the game. In 1990, a young boy called Chris Houlihan won a contest organized by Nintendo Power magazine. The grand prize of this contest was a dedicated Easter egg in the upcoming Zelda A Link to the Past. Released one year later, the game includes a secret room with a stone, which gives homage to Chris Houlihan when you touch it. When creating the Triforce for The Legend of Zelda, Shigeru Miyamoto took his inspiration from the symbol of a powerful samurai clan called the Hoyo who ruled over Japan between 1203 and 1333. The Legend of Zelda is the very first game to introduce a saving feature on console. Did you know that a simple fishing rod could help you defeat the most powerful villain in The Legend of Zelda? If you wield your fishing rod in front of Ganondorf in Twilight Princess, the villain will stare at the fishing rod, forgetting to even hit you. In the original Final Fantasy, three graves lay in the cemetery of Aphia. One of those graves is for Link, a nod from Square Enix to their rival, Nintendo. It was removed from the American version, where Link's grave is replaced by the one of Eredric from Dragon Quest. The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time is the only game with a Metacritic ranking of 99. 23 years after its initial release, it remains the video game with the best Metacritic score ever. The universe of The Legend of Zelda is inspired by Legend from Ridley Scott. The action of this movie takes place in a heroic fantasy world filled with goblins, elves, unicorns, and other mythical creatures. The Triforce was initially meant to be a way for Link to travel through different timelines. The name of Link is a reminder of the hero's mission, being a link between different worlds and eras. Link is famous for the sound that he makes whenever using his sword, pushing a boulder, or just running around. 
In the original The Legend of Zelda, Link could even defeat enemies just by yelling at them. The Japanese version of the game on Famicom enticed players to make a loud noise in the controller's microphone to scare away Pole's voices before entering a fight. Even if Link could yell his way out of battles, he wasn't always meant to do so. Shigeru Miyamoto wanted to create a silent hero anyone could identify with. Link and Mewtwo are both dubbed by the same woman. Fujiko Takimoto is the woman behind Link's famous yell we mentioned just before. She also dubbed Taki in Soul Calibur and young Asuma in Naruto. The first Legend of Zelda game had a subtitle removed from the English version. Its full name was The Legend of Zelda, The Hyrule Fantasy. The reason there are so many caves in The Legend of Zelda is that its creator Shigeru Miyamoto once found himself lost in a cave as a kid. He wanted to recreate this feeling of adventure in the game, leading to several caves for Link to discover. In Breath of the Wild, if you take your shirt off in front of Hetsu, once he is returned to the Korok Forest, he will greet you with a song celebrating the fact that you are both naked. The Legend of Zelda Oracle of Seasons and Oracle of Ages were supposed to be part of a trilogy. The third opus, The Legend of Zelda Mystical Seed of Courage, never came out due to connectivity issues with the other two games. The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening takes its surreal vibe from Twin Peaks. The creators of Link's Awakening revealed that Twin Peaks was rather popular when they developed the game, so they wanted to recreate the feeling of a small community with odd characters. When it's raining outside in Breath of the Wild, wandering merchants discount their prices. Breath of the Wild almost included hunger management, but the developers figured players would starve to death running around. Instead, they added cooking as a bonus to refill energy, but with no consequences if you skip a meal. The first dungeon of Oracle of Seasons is a reference to the first dungeon of the original Legend of Zelda. Their layout are similar, and both entrances are hidden under a dead tree. Wind Waker was supposed to have more content, but the team had to rush the game to get it out before Christmas. They removed two dungeons and virtually increased playtime with a tedious quest to gather all Triforce pieces. The German version of The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening is not as innocent as other versions. Some monsters make sexual references, such as No Condom or Give Me Your Juice, I'll Give You Mine. The same German translator worked on Secret of Mana, hiding secret messages through translation. Navi, the fairy following Link throughout The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, is a nickname for fairy navigation system. Hey, listen! A hidden video in Majora's Mask shows Link doing crunches and push-ups to warm up before his next battle. The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening is the first game of the series that doesn't mention the Triforce, Zelda, Ganon, and Hyrule. Fishing was not a feature initially planned in The Legend of Zelda. It appeared as a side project when one of the developers created a fish for an underwater temple. He decided to try adding a fishing minigame, which eventually made it into the final game. Ocarina of Time 3D includes several Easter eggs, like a poster of Link from Skyward Sword in the Lon Lon Ranch. In the German version of Ocarina of Time, the carpenters imprisoned throughout Gerudo's fortress are called John, Paul, George, and Ringo, just like the Beatles. The Song of Healing in Majora's Mask is the same as Saria's song from Ocarina of Time, but played backward at a slower tempo. In The Wind Waker, a shop owner displays several masks in his boutique, identical to the ones from The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. In Japan, the back of Oracle of Ages and Oracle of Seasons form a single picture showing Princess Zelda and the Triforce. Oracle of Ages and Oracle of Seasons are the only games from The Legend of Zelda that have an impact on each other. The ending of one of the games gives players a code that they could use to unlock special events in the other game. 
Ganondorf was supposed to be in Oracle of Ages and Oracle of Seasons, but didn't make it to the final version of the game. The Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass includes an island that looks exactly like a Nintendo DS. Its name? DS Island. Bodric, a helpful NPC from The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, is modeled after former Nintendo CEO Satoru Iwata, who saved the company before passing away from cancer in 2015. In The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker, the Deku Leaf blows off the wandering merchants' hats, revealing they are all Gorons. The magic hammer from The Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past is known as MC Hammer in Japan a reference to the singer of You Can't Touch This that didn't make it to the other versions of the game. According to Shigeru Miyamoto, creator of The Legend of Zelda, Link is not human. His pointy ears gives him an elf look, but Miyamoto never said more about this topic. In The Legend of Zelda The Minish Cap, there are only two houses for the three oracles. It's a reference to the third chapter of the Oracle series, which never made it to production. With the Nintendo 64, The Legend of Zelda finally went from 2D to 3D. As the team increased realism on all characters, the wife of director Yoshiaki Koyazumi declared that all Nintendo characters had a weird nose. They completely reworked Link's nose, improved his haircut, and the way his ears appeared to make him better looking than the other Nintendo heroes. The Legend of Zelda Four Swords Adventures includes a curious file named smw.ast on its disc. It is Super Mario World's theme, which cannot be played in the game. Its presence in Four Swords remains a mystery. The Japanese version of The Legend of Zelda Four Swords Adventures included an additional game mode called Navi Tracker. This feature never made it out of Japan. Phantom Hourglass has a hidden temple used by developers to test the game. The file called Player Underscore Dungeon is a small temple made of four rooms. Players who got a pirated version of The Legend of Zelda Spirit Tracks couldn't see the train whistle required to start the adventure. It was an attempt from Nintendo to stop pirating, but players managed to activate the whistle even if it was not visible. The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time is the first game to introduce the lock-on feature to track enemies while in a fight. This feature, also called Z-Targeting, is now a standard for 3D fights in all games. In the Spanish version of The Legend of Zelda Spirit Tracks, Chancellor Cole is renamed Machiavello. It is a direct reference to Niccolo Machiavelli, the author of The Prince. In The Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past, Link was not supposed to be the only playable character. He was meant to be a member of a trio, alongside a magician and a fairy. Instead, he remains alone, and additional characters will just be there to guide him. In The Legend of Zelda A Link Between Worlds, part of the theme of Low Rule Castle is the theme of High Rule Castle playing backward. The developers of Hyrule Warriors initially planned on adding a level where the only goal would be to cut grass. The idea didn't make it to the final game. Triforce Heroes is the only game in the series where Link cannot use his shield to block attacks. In The Wind Waker, Link faces gelatinous monsters called Choo Choo's. These blobs make a high-pitched yell when we attack them, but this yell is not random. It is actually a fight between two people, played backward and faster. One of them says, at least I'm not bald, while the other answers, at least I'm not a monster. Impa, the nursemaid of Princess Zelda that appears on several games from The Legend of Zelda, wasn't always meant to be a female. Artworks for Twilight Princess reveal that the team was planning on turning Impa into an old man with a beanie and a rather impressive mustache. To promote Ocarina of Time, Wind Waker, and Twilight Princess, Nintendo didn't use the official theme of The Legend of Zelda. Instead, they used the music from Conan the Barbarian to emphasize the epic quest Link is about to live. The ranch ruins in Breath of the Wild are the ruins of the Lon Lon Ranch from Ocarina of Time. 
The ranch we once saved by winning a race with Epona is now in ruins, but we can still see the remains of buildings and fences. While waiting for other players in Triforce Heroes, it is possible to spawn a ball by rushing into walls. While it is in the air, the ball plays some of the most popular musical themes from The Legend of Zelda. The Bow Wow from The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening is exactly the same as the Chain Chomp from the Mario series. The German translation of The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time makes a direct reference to Pokemon. When we talk to Princess Zelda wearing a fox mask, she asks if we are one of those cute pocket monsters. In The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, the color of the game over message reveals the way Link died. The message is red if Link fell in battle, yellow if he was electrocuted, orange if he burned, or blue if he froze to death. Tingle, a reoccurring merchant from The Legend of Zelda, is so popular in Japan, he got his own spin-off video game called Freshly Picked Tingle's Rosy Ruby Land, as well as three additional Japan-exclusive games. In all Legend of Zelda games, Link only spoke twice. He says, come on, in the co-op mode of Wind Waker, and giddy up when calling Epona in Twilight Princess. Other than these two times, Link mainly yells when we hear him. Come on! The city of Skyloft in The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword is inspired by the French Mont Saint Michel. When Nintendo revealed the Wii Zapper, a kind of pistol for the Wii Remote, the developers of The Legend of Zelda wanted to introduce this feature in their next game. Shigeru Miyamoto wanted to create a new adventure for Link in the future in an environment similar to Terminator. The rest of the team didn't feel like it, and the project eventually ended as Link's crossbow training. Renaming your save file Zelda, Marin, or Todokeke in Link's Awakening changes the music in the player select screen. There are several levels in The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening that come straight from Mario games with its 2D platformer look and Goombas trying to bite you. If you crouch and turn around yourself near a tame dog in Breath of the Wild, the dog will mimic you and start twirling too. Since the beginning of this video, we have seen plenty of images of Link. However, have you ever looked at the way he wields his weapons? Link uses his sword with his left hand, while his right hand holds a shield. Even though I just said that Link was left-handed, he made three exceptions. In Twilight Princess, Skyward Sword, and Breath of the Wild, Link changes his dominant hand to simplify the gameplay for the Wii Remote and Joy-Con for right-handed players. A shop in Mabe Village from The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening displays a Yoshi doll based on the famous dinosaur from the Mario series. In The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, Link faces some zombie-like creatures called Redead or Lurkers in the Dark. When we kill one of them, all the others gather around the body as if they were sad about the passing of their companion. But they are not. They are actually eating the poor lad, who is definitely dead and re-dead. Following the success of Ocarina of Time, the team started working on an extension called Ura Zelda. Eiji Onuma, the designer in charge of the dungeons, didn't want to work on a sequel of a game he considered finished. Shigeru Miyamoto challenged him. If he could make a whole new game in less than a year, he wouldn't have to work on Ura Zelda. One year later, Majora's Mask was born. Terran from The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening takes his appearance from Mario, the other popular hero from Shigeru Miyamoto. Luigi also made an appearance in The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening, inspiring the design of the hen housekeeper breeding cuckoos. There is no better way to upset a Legend of Zelda fan than to mistake Link for Zelda. Saving your game as Zelda in the original game on Famicom Disk System unlocks a remastered second quest with restructured dungeons in new areas. The village of Lurlin in Breath of the Wild is the same as Outset Island in Wind Waker. The overall village layout is the same with its lookout tower and sandy beaches. In The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening, Mr. White receives a letter with a photograph of no other than Princess Peach from the Mario series. In The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, you could fix a sign you broke by playing Zelda's Lullaby. The 2D prototypes of Breath of the Wild are similar to the original Legend of Zelda. Nintendo revealed an 8-bit version of the game, 
throwing some good old vibes to fans of the franchise. Ganondorf's full name is Ganondorf Dragmire. This name was added by the American Translation Team and later officialized by Nintendo on the Legend of Zelda website. Shigeru Miyamoto, the creator of The Legend of Zelda, revealed that Link's surname was Link. The hero is officially Link Link. And that concludes our list of 89 surprising facts about The Legend of Zelda. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more gaming videos.